Tonight we are celebrating with Ed Bernstein. After 25 years, we're looking back at his favorite moments from his 30 minute talk show that airs right here on our network. Yeah, the show was, makes it the longest running television talk show in the state of Nevada. Quite a milestone in any career. Mr. Bernstein is here with us tonight to talk about it. Can you believe it's been a quarter oh, century? It, and it just flies right by. Yeah, yeah. you have a good time doing the show. Um, don't I you? do. You know, I started um, actually the week my daughter Dana was born, uh -huh. and she's just turned 25 last month. And um, I, it's been great. I've gotten an opportunity to meet some incredible, incredible people. I know it's probably and, difficult to narrow down 25 years worth of material, but who would you say have been your favorite people to interview over the years? Uh, you know, it, it never ceases to amaze me how uh, gracious and wonderful most of the guests are. Um, um, Anthony Hopkins, uh, so humble and so sweet and, <laughs> and smart. Um, I made a, a quick list. Steve Allen, uh, Jonathan Winters. Uh, I remember when Steve Allen um, uh, was our guest, he was the most, the vainest of all my guests. He asked a camera to a camera a cameraman to come yeah. in with close, close, close. Uh, stop it! Don't come any <laughs> further than here. You know. You want to direct he, the show? He was, or he was directing. He was yeah. the only guest that had ever done that. And you know, I, I just pulled a clip. I think you guys have it with David Brenner. You know, yeah. He died um, um, last yeah. week. Uh, he weekend. was he was on three times. And I think I have a clip here. It's about ten years old. Let's take a look at that. Okay. How do you work through your stress, your your issues, your, your difficult times? Believe it or not, I wish I had someone to make me laugh, but because I ad lib so much and I get a kick out of things that I say, I hear it for the first time. Sometimes I laugh on stage because it's, it's a genetic. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden I said something so funny and I'm like, oh, that's funny. Every now, you know, as if someone uh -huh. else said it. David Brenner, he'd been on The Tonight Show over 100 times, I think, filled yeah. in for Johnny sometimes. When you're interviewing a guest, your, your philosophy and your take on it, your approach is different. There's so much confrontation in television anymore. Uh, you really want that guest to be comfortable and so we can hear what that person has to say. Yeah, I really try to talk as little as possible. Let the guests talk. I mean, I ask questions like, hey, where are you going after you leave here? Uh -huh. You know, uh, what did you do yesterday? I just want to get a, a little you know, slice of that person's life. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your business side. I've been in town for about four years now, and I can honestly say the first slogan I memorized was, enough said, call Ed. <laughs> I mean, that has Working. to have served you well over the years. Yeah, well, well I've been, I was the first attorney in, uh, in Nevada to advertise. I've been doing it for 30 plus years. Uh, we've been on every day for 30 years on practically every television station. So I'm glad, Jessica, that you remember the slogan. <laughs> and so you've probably yeah. seen the law profession change then in Nevada over the last oh, 25 years. How would you describe that? Yeah, it's changed uh, significantly. Las Vegas is now the most competitive uh, lawyer TV advertising market in the country uh, for some reason. Uh, we have a lot of competition. There's uh, some 50-some lawyers often on television and radio and billboards now. You've got the uh, law career, you've got the entertainment career, and you dabbled in politics at yeah. one point, making a run for the Senate. Uh, was that one time enough to convince you <laughs> Never again. Yeah, yeah. At that time, it was you know the year 2000. Mm -hmm. It was uh, the same time that Al Gore w was running. Uh, I was a Democratic candidate. Uh, Health care was very important to me. Uh, my daughter was born with some illnesses, and and getting uh, health care, getting insurance, and getting uh, putting control back into the hands of doctors was really important to me, as well as the cost of prescription drugs. Uh, these issues, unfortunately, have not changed much over the last 14 years, except politics getting much more contentious. I just have one more quick question. Yeah. We've got this guy suing the downtown Grand uh, over the gambling debt. Have you been approached over the years by people who came to Vegas, lost a lot of money, and wanted you to sue casinos? Do you oh, take those uh, cases? I have not taken one of those <laughs> cases. Not in this town. Buyer beware. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ed Bernstein, here's to another 25 years. Uh, hey, here's to you. Thank there you. you. Go. Thank Good to you. see you, Ed. The Ed Bernstein Show airs Sundays at 3 p.m. right here on Channel 3.